Toy Tractor Times is here with Cole Wallenberg uh, from Ada, Oklahoma. Congratulations, big trip to Iowa from Oklahoma, and you're taking home a gold trophy from Toy Farmer. Uh, 40th anniversary of this show. Congratulations on taking the youth division. So Cole, tell us about your display that took pla first place out here at the show. So this would be about a beginning farm, uh, two, 200, 300 acres, around about 200 head of cattle. Um, right now on the farm, they're rounding up cattle to uh, take to the cell barn to sell. Um, we got the feed truck, it's got trash in the back. I customized that feed truck. It's got one of Sean Lockwood's beds and uh, a feed box on it. Um, you can take it apart. And it's got a Coke can on the dash. Um, nice. Uh, crushed one on the floor, on the floorboard, and some shop towels. I actually had a piece of bailing wire holding on the tailpipe, but it broke off somewhere. Um, after they get done with that, they're going to start sowing wheat. So inside the shop, they've got a great claims drill hooked on to the 4450. Uh, that's kind of based off our real setup. I, I drove 4450 on our farm, and we have a great plains grill. Very nice. And since it's, this would be kind of a beginning farm, they're kind of low on money, especially in the farm aspect. So the gravity wagon doesn't have an auger. I have to use five gallon buckets, fill it up, fill up the drill. And then the 5020 is kind of based off our 5020. Um, the only thing different is ours does has an umbrella and our canopy, and then got an old '74 Chevy. Just I actually bought that at the show here and customized it. So, and then the working pins are actually made out of window screening and toothpicks. Um, the feeder is uh, one of Sean Lockwood's. Sean made quite a few things on this display. He made the squeeze chute, the waters, and the three trailers. He's, he makes some very quality products. So. Yeah, so, uh, why don't we take a look at the, the house up here? And we got a camper and a four wheeler. And... A restored C10 pickup. You know, he probably shouldn't have done that. Probably wasted a little bit too much money on it, but. That was one of my one of my favorite pieces on this display. Um, I custom made the mirrors out of uh, pins and balsa wood. The uh, bumper is made out of uh, paper clips and um, uh, balsa wood. So very nice. And uh, you even got a garden out here with some sweet corn and yep. different uh, cauliflower and yeah, got, a, got the water spigot right there. That's yeah. handy to keep it growing. Yeah. Yeah, my mom always complains. She's got flowers in front of the her, our house, but she all the water spigots are at the on the farm, so she can't. She has to carry water bottles out, mm. go up her. So uh, across the pasture here, I mean, first of all, you got that all kind of fenced in there against the the field. You got yeah, the Oklahoma this, red dirt out there. Uh, this would be the wheat field. So we run hot wire on our wheat field. Um, got the charger, and it's set up how we set up ours. And so you do that because uh, the cows will graze on over the winter before uh -huh, yes. it really gets grown to produce grain. Uh -huh. and, and then the one, we got one of Zach's bulls, just lazy, don't want to get up. So, and then and the, we've got a white field boss tractor, mm -hmm. so you can see some better days. Yeah, just left out to die. I'm actually a pretty big white fan, but just dropped that one a few too many sure. times. Uh, Looks like you got the, a sprayer tucked back in there, another uh, truck. Yeah, I got a scout with a tree growing up in it. And then well, another one of Sean's waters. And then over here in the, I forgot, an overhead bin by Sean. So what goes in there, feed or? The feed, yeah, you would actually okay. drive the cake truck underneath it. Um, it is mostly used for cake, but we feed a mixture of corn and a lot of just minerals and stuff, so that would, that's what would be in there. Neat. And then we got some of the equipment. It looks like a Heston hay rake, and Holland hay bine. Mm -hmm. Got the white farm equipment, bush hog. Yeah. Chisel um, plow. Mm -hmm. Disc, uh, fuel trailer. Mm -hmm. And then Sean's trailers. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, looks like a combine head sitting there. Yeah, it couldn't fit inside a quartz nut, so they just 
left it there. Um, the tub for the working shoots, or you could call it a tub, it's made out of boss wood, and so is this gate. So all the gates open and closed. Uh, and then inside the board here, we got a couple balers, two Heston balers, and Sean actually did that 6622. So. Very nice, and got the custom decal and two wheel drive on the back. And yeah. Looks like this must be uh, how you get your mechanic stuff out to the field, yeah. uh, back into a pickup truck. Yeah, they, they couldn't afford an actual a service truck, so they just used the bed of wood. You know, this is really neat because not all farming is big and pretty, yep. but it gets the job done, and uh, it's a yeah. really nice, it really shows the thought you put into it in that uh, gold trophy. Yeah. Well, Cole, thank you for sharing this here in uh, Iowa, and we look forward to seeing what you come up with next. All right, thank you. Thank you.